Hey, what's up you guys? You're watching 2MPS. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over the ban list. It was just dropped, I'm sure you guys have heard. So I'm actually recording this video on my phone, which I thought was kind of weird, but um, it's convenient. I have an app that does that, and I'm in a bit of a hurry. When you're watching this video, I'll actually be at YCS Houston with everyone, so hopefully that'll be fun. But anyway, yeah, ban list dropped, and I'm gonna go through each card, kind of talk about it, talk about the implications. I'll try to keep the video like briefish, but um, we'll see. So uh, yeah, it's it's here. It's interesting. A lot of people have different things to say about it. I have my own sort of opinions. Uh, let's let's not waste any more time. So all the cards from the our adjusted list back in February are all still here. So nothing changed from that. In case you were hoping you'd get something back, you're not. But um, I am completely in agreement with that. So damage juggler and plush fire are still gone. Um, makes sense, whatever. Um, Ptolemaeus is as well. But the first new banned card is Chicken Game. And um, I think that that makes a lot of sense. I know a lot of people were hoping they would find some kind of way to hit kind of these FTK Exodia decks that have become so prevalent. Uh, Chicken Game as a card is interesting in the sense that... Um, excuse my notifications. It's interesting in the sense that, like, when it was, before it was released, people were like, oh my god, this is going to be crazy. Then when, when it was released, it, uh, like, it was just kind of, like, here and there. Like, it, it got used, but it never really seemed like it got abused enough to matter. Then it got somewhat irrelevant, not irrelevant, like, it was always used, but it just slipped off the radar. But recently, it's kind of come back into its own, and it's been doing a little bit too much, I think. So, um, it makes total sense to get rid of it. Cards like this generally just aren't unfortunately aren't like healthy I, I the concept of the card is cool but I, I see where the problem comes in um too much draw power too much consistency and um spoiler monarchs were not really hit terribly hard on this list so um these indirect sort of hits to their consistency i think are about the closest we get the next band card is wavering eyes and um this is one that i totally like don't mind I, i'm actually rather indifferent to it i've never hated wavering eyes as much as i think other people have, but I see why it's an issue. Um, it was kind of confusing when the card was first released. I actually had no clue if it was supposed to be Pendulum Support or like Pendulum Hate. I mean, I guess it's both now, but it, what it turned into was Pendulum decks themselves get far too much advantage out of it, and um, that's just a real problem. It's chainable as well, and it just kind of got a little bit nutty. So when people complain about Pendulums, you can at least, you know, say that Konami has done something to balance some of them, you know, a lot of people don't like it, but um, I think this is a good way to tame Pendulums. Pendulums have to stay a little bit more honest now and find their own ways of searching and making combos happen. So, there's that. Next, um, Lost of Pendulum still limited, no surprises there. Monkey Board and Crowbat Joker are as well, but Wisdom Eye Magician is actually on this list, and that's a little bit strange. I think that's probably the most surprising move on this ban list out of all of them. I don't think a lot of people saw it coming. A lot of people feel like, you know, Odd Eyes Magicians were not particularly relevant um, after Pepe kind of took their place in the meta. But I think at this point, it's not even so much Konami thinking that Wisdom Eye is outright broken, but more of a, um, more of a, like, you know, move the old stuff out, push the new stuff in sort of deal. Um, seems like something of the goal with this list, or at least this particular hit. So, I still, think, I still think Odd Eyes Magicians are playable. Um, I don't think anybody's going to completely question that. But it's, it's certainly weakened. Wisdom Eye gave a lot of speed um, and set up for that deck. And now it's, it's, it's a little crippled. I think it's going to be doable. It sucks because it was one of the more affordable but still good options to play. So, how they adapt to this, I'm not really sure. I'm not like an Odd Eyes Magician expert. But I'm sure you'll see, like, profiles of people kind of adapting. There will be other cards they'll use. I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, so, yeah. Next um, is Elder Energy Norden. So this is a big deal, sort of. I mean, I guess. I think a lot of people saw this coming. Like, it's not a super huge surprise, right? Uh, the card is... It was, like, kind of only a matter of time. I think the real question was, would it get banned or limited? Or would they choose to instant fusion? I'm happy with this solution. Um, I'm glad that Instant Fusion is still here for a lot of kind of lower tier rogue decks to have a way to play and, you know, use other Instant Fusion targets instead of, like, you know, it going to one or banned. So Norton's still around. People can still use it. And so some people might say this isn't enough of a hit. But overall, uh, I think it's fine. It kind of creates this complex where is it worth running Norton in your extra deck? You know, with how many Instant Fusions and does that become Dimension Returns? Things like that. 
So I think it's, it's healthy, it makes people think, and that's the most we can ask for for some of these ban lists. Next is Thousand Eyes Restrict. So this is big. I think a lot of people have gotten really excited about this. This is really hype, whatever. Um, I'm overall, I'm happy. I've been saying for a long time, I think this card could come off. It doesn't seem like it's overpowered or broken. Um, and with Instant Fusion still around, it's usable. But um, the only thing is like, uh, it's at one. It's just going to kind of become a one of out, if that. Like, I think it actually might not even really become relevant in the meta. Like, I don't think... Excuse my notifications. I, I don't think like it's a big enough deal to matter. So uh, I think it'll just be a fun tech for a little while. A lot like when cards like Magician of Faith come off the list and people are like, you know, oh, it's cool, it's back. And then you realize that eh, it gets Valor or Fiendish or, 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 you know, stuff like that. So um, Next is Ignista Prominence. So I'm totally, I'm, I'm all about this. I think this is great. Um, Ignista Prominence is way too good of a card to me. I really don't like it. Uh, not targeting and having so much synergy and setting up more and more plays for the Draco Palace deck is, you know, great. Like, get rid of it. Um, now, that being said, I know that the Draco Pal or the the Lus the Draco engine <laughs> is really heavily nerfed for this list, but, you know, whatever. I think that partly that's for balance and partly that's just Konami Put out going sort of with the whole out with the old and with the new idea. So uh, call it what you want, but I don't mind. Ignister Prominence was not my favorite boss monster to have to deal with. So some people will complain that now they can't beat Cosmos, but well, you know, until the cookie crumbles. Cosmos took a bit of a hit in this list, but we'll get into that later. Um, next is Draco Face Off. So this card to me, if, if not Ignister Prominence, it really should have been this. Like this is the the fast setup card for them. It's kind of their equivalent to, um, you could say Wisdom Eye. It's just a really strong card. When they resolve Draco face off, it sets them up and puts them really far ahead. So, um, it being limited is cool with me. Um, it just basically means that whole like luster Draco, um, engine is just, I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't seem like it's really worthwhile or playable, uh, but I'm glad Konami was responsible and hit it because I think they knew that Draco Pals was still, overbearing in a tournament scene, so they, it shows they've been paying attention. Next is Reasoning, so that's limited too. I, I'm i totally cool with this. Um, it's a hit to Cosmos, and I know Cosmos haven't been playing Reasoning as much lately, so maybe it's not as drastic a hit, but for the ones that do, um, it's there, and for a few other decks that use Reasoning and abuse it a bit, uh, it sucks, but that's how it goes. Uh, I know Infernoid players will probably be crying a little bit, but they'll find ways. Um, now, to be fair, I was never like a reasoning hater, but uh, I, I see why it kind of had to get hit. Nothing directly got hit in Cosmos or Monarchs, so I think that these indirect hits are about all we can ask for. And finally, Upstart Goblin. I think that this is a weird one. Um, not weird in the sense that I disagree, but weird because and before it was weird. Like, I didn't know. we had, I had no clue when this was going to happen, like when they were going to decide to hit this card or not, but um, it's finally at one, which is cool, so... No more upstarts, no more super consistency, rip, Patrick Hogan, whatever, I don't care what you guys want to say. But, um, it's not around, I don't mind this hit either, uh, it sucks, maybe, again, for lower tier decks that needed that for a bit of consistency, but let's face it, um, there were decks that made better use of this. Um, at this point, I think that the idea of an Exodia draw deck, Konami is just saying no to all of that, and, uh, yeah, and you could call this a hit to Monarchs, because some Monarch builds used it, so, I don't know. Not here anymore. And there's not much more to say about it. That's the thing with this ban list. There's not a lot to say about a lot of these picks. Like It's a fairly predictable one. So to two, we've got Debris Dragon is back to two, we could say. Card's not super relevant right now. I don't think this is going to make a huge deal, but um, it's nice if you liked that card. If this ends up doing something crazy, I'll color me surprised, but yeah. Um, Allure of Darkness is at two. I'm glad. Uh, that's cool. Um... I don't see anything being able to abuse this overly hard. I mean, like, Burning Abyss never really were into the whole Lair of Darkness thing. But maybe now they will be. Like, the Phantom Knight BA decks, I guess that's a little bit more power for them. If they use it, um, I'm not too concerned. Um, e is it too. So, I was surprised because I figured e would probably be in fear of going to 1 and, like, Reasoning might go to 2. But e is at 2 and Reasoning at 1. And so this slightly hits Cosmos, slightly hits those um, Super Quantum strategies... I'm okay with this. I know that Itelli was kind of a better card than Reasoning in Cosmos. It was faster and um, more direct and more reliable, so I kind of wished it was the other way around, but I'll take what I can get. 
And the cards that are off the list are Dark Magician of Chaos, Dragodia, Advanced Ritual Art, and Crush Card. I'm honestly not really going to talk about any of these except for Dark Magician of Chaos. Um, it's getting into Errata soon. If you haven't seen the Errata, you can look it up um, anywhere on the internet, really. The Errata version's uh, decent. You, like I said, that's not really a talk, I guess, so much for this video. You can kind of form your own opinions on the card, but it's cool to see that it's around. Um, for it to be at 3 is neat, but I don't think people will be running it at 3, trust me. And the rest of these cards, eh, who really cares? I mean, like, ARA is neat, but the rest of them I don't think are going to be relevant. So, um, that's really all I've got to say. This goes into effect on Monday, so um, just a couple of days. It should be cool. What do I see going forward? Well, I haven't actually looked into Shining Victories much, so I don't know everything that's coming out in it. But I think that the main thing is that the sort of the Draco Pals deck is effectively dead and um, Cosmos and Monarchs are ever so slightly nerfed. BA is kind of escaping on, you know, unscarred or whatever, so I don't really know. Overall, I'd say it's a good ban list. I'd say it's rather predictable. There weren't any huge surprises. Like, Thousand Act Restrict at this point doesn't really make a big difference to me, and we knew that Demok would be coming back with the errata. Um, I'm glad Konami did address what I thought were a few issues, like the upstart chicken game stuff and, um, you know, the, the Draco engine, so... Uh, overall, I'm going to just give the ban list like a, a 7 out of 10. I don't know, like a B minus, B plus. It's predictable. It did what it's supposed to do. I know some people are going to be salty that like Monarchs and Cosmos, they feel didn't get hit hard enough, but I think it's going to be okay. Um, now Monarchs aren't like incredibly fast and consistent. They don't have that annoying like FTK thing. And Cosmos won't OTK you as much. So, all right, time to figure out the matchup, guys, instead of complaining. So, um, those are my thoughts on the ban list. Overall, it's not bad, just whatever. Um, Wisdom Eye is kind of weird, but enough of that. Tell me what you guys thought about the ban list. Leave it in the description. Um, I'd love to hear. I'd love to talk about it. Like I said, when you see this video, I should be at YCS Houston, which is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to try to get a lot of videos there and upload most of them in the week following. So lots of YCS Houston goodness. It, it'll probably be like, you know, interesting rogue or really good players using interesting rogue decks that I find. Maybe I'll ask some players for their opinions on the ban list and kind of make it a montage. I definitely want to do a vlog, and I'm just excited to take a lot of pictures and meet people. I'm going to upload all the pictures and stuff on my social media, so follow me on that. You know where to find it. And that's the video. Ban list is out. It's legal soon. What do you think? What's going to happen? Should be a lot of fun. I don't know. Um, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh, and I actually have to figure out how to stop recording this. Um, how do I stop recording this? Who knows? To pull this down?